Hello everyone. In Roblox's survival horror game, Pillar Chase 2, players face the challenge of surviving rounds as either a monster or a player being hunted by one. Each monster in the game comes equipped with unique skills, abilities, and stats that can drastically alter the gameplay experience. To succeed, players must not only understand the strengths and weaknesses of each monster, but also learn to exploit those weaknesses to outlast the terrifying chase. This tier list ranks the monsters from the best to the worst, helping players identify which monsters offer superior abilities and which ones fall short. Some monsters possess powerful skills that make them formidable hunters, while others may lack the necessary edge, making them less effective in the chase. Whether you're looking to dominate as a monster or find the best strategies to survive, understanding these rankings is crucial for mastering Pillar Chase 2. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking monsters in Pillar Chase 2. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. A very small portion of the audience is subscribed to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like these types of videos. Thanks. The monsters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Springtrap and Vapor. In Pillar Chase 2, Springtrap ranks in the D tier due to its underwhelming performance in most matches. While Springtrap can secure kills, its effectiveness heavily relies on the use of abilities which are hindered by extremely long cooldowns and a drawn-out kill animation. Although it can occasionally out-stamina survivors and deliver punishing blows, it struggles to consistently wipe out an entire lobby, making it one of the less reliable monsters in the game. Vapor has seen numerous balance changes, but it remains a D-tier monster in its current state. Previously known for being incredibly slow, Vapor now has an average speed with a brief boost after teleporting. However, this boost is short-lived, and the monster's slow attacks, combined with the time it takes to emerge from teleportation, make it difficult to use effectively in fast-paced situations. Vapor's primary strength lies in its stealth, as it lacks chase music, allowing it to sneak up on unsuspecting players. However, its overall fragility and the time needed to set up its attacks limit its viability in most scenarios. The monsters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Exe, Osh, Faker, Rosemary, and Whist. In Pillar Chase 2, the C-tier monsters include Exe, Rosemary, and Whist, each with unique abilities, but also notable weaknesses. Exe, also known as Faker, is dependent on specific maps to optimize his trap placement. His lunging attack and grab combo can be effective if he manages to close the distance between him and his target. While Exe has decent stamina, making it possible to outlast opponents in certain scenarios, his reliance on map conditions and the need to get close to enemies make him a situational threat at best. Rosemary, despite being slightly faster than players, struggles with low stamina and a severe stamina drain. This makes it difficult for her to maintain a chase or out-stamina survivors, even with her demonic streak ability. However, Rosemary's saving grace is her ability to ambush players quietly, allowing her to get close before they have a chance to react. On certain maps like Eclipse, Schoolhouse, and Mansion, Rosemary's weaknesses are more apparent but with careful stamina management, she can still catch players off guard and secure kills. Whist, on the other hand, is one of the more enjoyable monsters to play due to his strong movement and stamina stats, as well as his potent attack range. Whist's regular attacks require four hits to take down a player at full health, but his gobble bomb can be a game changer, allowing him to kill players in just two hits if used correctly. The Gobble Bomb's ability to skip the kill animation also enables Whist to eliminate opponents more frequently. However, 
Wist's effectiveness decreases significantly against experienced players who are aware of his tactics, making it difficult to secure victories, especially in challenging matches. The monsters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Uncle Samsonite, Io Oni, Fogborn, and Baldi. In Pillar Chase 2, B-tier monsters stand out for their unique abilities and versatility, making them formidable opponents in the game. Uncle Samsonite, for instance, is one of the most effective punishers, known for his brutal capabilities in dispatching players with ease. His dance ability, although now with a shorter range, remains lethal, especially against newer players. While more experienced opponents might pose a challenge, his teleportation ability keeps him relevant and dangerous on the battlefield, ensuring he remains a top pick for many players. Ao Oni, despite recent nerfs to his attack and movement speed, continues to be a strong contender in the B tier. His shapeshifting no longer grants a speed boost, but the ability to out-stamina players after shifting gives him an edge in prolonged encounters. His high damage output and fast kill animations make him a nightmare for players caught in dead ends, where his bone-breaking Punisher ability truly shines. Though slightly weaker than before, Ao Oni's capacity to dominate lobbies remains significant. Fogborn, another B-tier monster, has seen recent changes that have redefined his playstyle. His Thunder Warp ability was reworked to provide more control over when to exit teleportation, a crucial update for navigating larger maps like Gilgamesh. While challenging to master, Fogborn's stare ability can catch unsuspecting players off guard, allowing skilled users to clear entire lobbies. His strategic approach makes him a tough but rewarding choice for players looking to outmaneuver their opponents. Lastly, Baldi has received notable buffs particularly with his anti-hearing tape becoming quieter, enhancing his ambush capabilities. Additionally, his increased passive speed allows him to gain momentum as the game progresses. Though Baldi might struggle against corner campers and is challenging to play early on, his ability to silently approach and surprise players makes him a powerful asset in skilled hands. With the right strategy, Baldi can effectively wipe out lobbies, solidifying his place in the B tier. The monsters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Forest King and MX. In Pillar Chase 2, Forest King stands out as one of the most powerful and enjoyable monsters to play as. With a unique ability to gain a speed boost whenever a player is trapped, Forest King doesn't require a map to navigate effectively. The use of floating heads offers a strategic advantage by helping locate hidden players, making it a formidable hunter. Forest King excels at zoning players, increasing its potential to wipe out entire lobbies. This monster's ability to deal significant damage while sprinting towards trapped players solidifies its position as one of the strongest and most punishing monsters in the game. Similarly, MX brings a terrifying presence to the battlefield, renowned for its punishing nature and incredible lobby wipeout potential. MX's bloodless passive and insta-kill capabilities make it nearly inescapable, especially with its constant mobility around the map. The current iteration of MX is the strongest it has ever been, making it a relentless force. Players must be on high alert, as escaping MX often requires full stamina and a quick head start. This monster's ability to keep the pressure on throughout the game cements its reputation as one of the most dangerous monsters in Pillar Chase 2. The monsters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Neloticus. Nalotikus stands at the pinnacle of the monster hierarchy in Pillar Chase 2, and for good reason. This beast excels at outlasting players with its superior stamina, making it nearly impossible for survivors to escape once a chase begins. Its leap ability is particularly effective, 
allowing Niloticus to close the gap quickly and deal significant damage. During a chase, catching a player not only inflicts harm, but also triggers a bite animation where Niloticus recovers stamina, further extending its relentless pursuit. However, Niloticus is not without its flaws. On maps with dense foliage or numerous hiding spots like bushes or lockers, survivors have a better chance of evading this fearsome monster. Despite this, Niloticus remains a formidable threat, and players facing off against it will need to rely on their wits and the environment to stand a chance of surviving. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.